the other side effects we talked about that I just wanted to get your opinion on was the myalgias and the muscle cramps. I know I said I use a lot of magnesium and calcium, but I was wondering if you've had any other tricks. Well, you know, the quinine used to work. I, did you all find it worked? Yeah. Yep. yeah, it worked beautifully, but we can't use it. It's dangerous, and I think it's probably lucky we haven't seen one of the other side effects. And we can't use a drug that's been removed from the market by the FDA. It doesn't look good. Have, have either of you had patients come tell you that they're using CBD oil uh, for muscle cramps? No, but I'd be intrigued because uh, of the data that it may be very helpful in peripheral neuropathy. And I don't think we know what causes the muscle cramps. Is it a manifestation of a neuropathy? Because we used to see in the Velcade neuropathy days, people had muscle cramps. But they don't have much neuropathy with Revlimid, but they have muscle cramps. I've tried recently baclofen, like for hiccups with muscle spasms, with mixed success you know, up to 10 milligrams TID. And on one lady, it helped, but I had to go from BID to TID. Mm -hmm. uh, some, the literature, there's a, there's a very poorly done randomized trial in cirrhotics who apparently get muscle cramps that said that baclofen works. Um, gabapentin has been reported to have activity. And sometimes if at night I use a long acting benzodiazepine starting in low doses like clono, uh, Clonazepam, because it'll last all night, and maybe if it doesn't relax their muscles, they'll at least have a decent night's sleep, because they can be really painful. Mm -hmm. Do your patients use a lot of CBD oil? I, I, anecdotally, I've had patients tell me that they've yeah. used CBD oil both for neuropathy and muscle cramps, and it may be, to your point, it may be that they're sleeping better, but uh, I've had some patients come and tell me that that's the answer to their problem, and, uh, and they carry on. Generally, they've been trying it on their own and coming to tell me after. Yeah, no, exactly. I think yeah. there are dispensaries and yeah. there was a uh, palliative care neurologist who came and spoke at one group and was very intrigued with the effects on neuropathy and the benefit for these patients. And I think it would certainly be worth assessing because it, it's like abnormal taste, which is problematic in a small proportion of people. but. I have some elderly people on very low dose Revlimid, or on low dose Revlimid, we had to dose reduce very low because of the taste aberration, and then they were losing weight. And the oral medicine literature says uh, magnesium um, oxide, uh, no, zinc, it's zinc oxide can help. And it's worth a try because then people have something to try. But I've had a couple of people I had to dose down to five milligrams every day or every other day so they quit losing weight. They've stayed in remission a couple of years, which just shows the potency of that drug. Mm -hmm. But the, the taste aberrations were problematic. 